All right, here we are in a beautiful early morning in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Handle several cars out of a collection. They're all going to be photographed and videoed here, right here in this location. This is a beautiful car out of the collection. This is one that was driven quite a bit and enjoyed. Uh, you'd never know by looking at it, it as 5,200 miles on it. 1961 Corvette Resto Mod. Very nicely done. Pro built by Burton's out of Southern California. This car is just beautiful in its presence and it's uh, the kind of car that you can definitely drive. Underneath the hood here is an LS2 crate engine. Very nicely done. 4L60E automatic overdrive. Stock in its presence and presentation, which would be a true resto mod. 61s are really neat because of their factory side trim and their interior door panel. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. It has fuel injection badges on the fender because it, it is fuel injected with the LS2. Finished in a bright red. It's called Mahood Red. It's very, very beautiful finish and the body on this car is just spectacular. It has SLC 17 inch uh, uh, Bill of Specialties wheels on it. I'm just letting you take it in a little bit. Very nice car. This car is just an absolute gas to drive. Uh, it rides right, it looks right, and most of all it drives right. Underneath the hood like we talked about is the LS2 with the 4L60E automatic overdrive. But really what the really sweet part about this is that it has a uh, Paul Newman chassis where they take the factory frame rails and they uh, incorporate it with Corvette C4 suspension. This was the uh, level where they chose to have everything polished and plated. Hang on, we'll get up to the uh, undercarriage video here and you'll really get a good feel for the bottom side of this. But basically the exterior of this car has not been modified at all. Um, it's got a great stock look and feel with factory trim, even the Calvin on the front there. It's loaded up with everything that you can think of. This is the car out of the collection that they called the Trophy Magnet. It was completed in like 2008-2009 and in its first year it won multiple trophies, over 10 trophies, uh, and it can continue to wear, win trophies as far as that goes. I have a little cheat sheet in my hand here that I'll share with you. Um, it was uh, invited to the 50th anniversary of Blackie's Invitational Car Show in uh, Sacramento area, Southern California. Several Chev Chevy shows, Super Chevy shows, Editor's Best Pick, Best in Class, Best in Class and Best to Show at the 09 Corvette Super Sports Show, 50th anniversary show for them. Body lines, Corvette body lines are just beautiful down the sides here. Tires are all uh, up to date. It has Eagle. Goodyear Eagle tires on it, I believe. Yes, all the way around. I think they're uh, 225s in the front, 235s in the rear. We'll cover that on the under undercarriage suspension video of it. Again, I have the cheat sheet in my hand here, but I'm just going to ad lib it, walk around, go to Spud's Garage, look for the specs, wait till we get underneath the hood. Definitely hang on under the hood and the underside of this. The interior is done in a uh, very nice custom. Uh, Along the factory format, but their factory seats, uh, a fawn soft glove leather. They've actually uh, hollowed these out a little bit so you could sit a little bit lower in the car. And then it was, uh, they have memory foam underneath, so it's very nicely done. All the factory console dash, this is a leather wrap dash with the same mat seat material. You'll see the French stitching there. Grab handle, factory grab handle there. It has a uh, top, we'll cover that, with it, uh, we'll raise it up portions of this video and share that rear compartment with you. It has a Pioneer audio system with four speakers. AC vents that come out on the side of the console there. Has vintage air conditioning, has power windows. Low car shifter for the uh, 4L65E automatic overdrive. But you'll see the trim on the doors here is just spectacular. Door shut nice. Has a Corvette C4 suspension like we talked about, so four wheel disc brakes all outboard. The trunk is finished off just like the interior. We'll cover that portion of the video here shortly for you. All the bright work, like we talked about, is just beautiful. Still operates with a with a trunk key. 
exhaust exits out the rear balance right here. If you're looking for a great resto mod early Corvette here, 61, this baby will do the trick, that's for sure. It is just, uh, you heard me say it before during this video, it's a gas to drive. I've driven it multiple times, getting it dialed in and ready to go, and it's just fun. It's done several trips up into the Bay Area, Pleasanton, that type of thing, 5,200 miles on the odometer. Factory-style steering wheel. Get up underneath here. Factory pedals. Very, very, very professional restoration. So about a 10-year-old uh, restoration with 5,200 loved miles. We'll fire it up here so you kind of get a feel. Tachometer works in the center, fuel gauge is reading about half. We haven't warmed it up enough for the temp gauge to work. Tachometer, 14 volts out of the charging system. Oil pressure is right around the 50, 40 to 50 mark. Notice it's a check engine light and a high beam indicator here on the dash, little LED indicators. Left one, right one. Again, the AC controls are down here. This is the uh, cal vent in the front, the factory cal vent. So when you just want a breeze, you don't want the AC on. Factory visors, dash mounted uh, rear view mirror. There you go. About time we tell you to get in, but most importantly, hang on to the end of the video here. All right, let's get underneath the hood. Very nice, pro-built top to bottom. It's just beautiful underneath here, underneath the hood here with the same finishes that are on the exterior of the car. Uh, we're gonna share the engine and powertrain here with you and a few of the neat little goodies. Has a uh, Corvette LS2, Corvette trimmed LS2 Redline crate engine. Has a uh, Wii and intake manifold that's been chrome plated on it, which is very nice. It's an LS2, so it's a drive-by-wire design. LS1 would have been a cable. It has uh, cable throttle, that is. Has a really neat custom air intake built by Burton's that feeds from both sides. Very nice. It drops down below the radiator hose here. Drops down equally on the other side. Brings in its air from the front with dual k &N air filters right there. Has a serpentine belt system, uh, fan belt system with polished and plated pulleys on it, combination thereof. Has a chrome high amp alternator here. So this would have been all GM des design or style stuff that hung that hangs from the front. Has a power steering pump right there. Over there on the left hand apron is the uh, reservoir for the power steering. And over here, just below the radiator cap, is the uh, coolant reservoir but very, very nice attention to detail throughout on this car. Over here on this side is the, uh, you can kind of get a good peek at the LS2 Newman chassis suspension. We'll spend some time up on the lift. You can see the finish on the aprons here. Hooker header, ceramic coated, custom dual exhaust. As I said, the finish, even in the corners here the, of the hood opening, has uh, factory hood latches that have all been CAD plated and they use button head hardware. Over there is a, uh, looks to be a Willwood master cylinder, billet master cylinder. It feeds into an apron mounted uh, hydraulically assisted brake system on it, which is nice. Makes this car safe and fun to drive. They used braided lines everywhere, so none of this was a cheap date. We'll wander around over to the other side so we can give you a feel. The fit is nice. Along the hoods here where it opens, the opening's nice. You look down in here, I don't know if I can get down in there, but you'll see the dual K&N air filters there. Got a nice sound to it out the back and out the front. Again, Corvette LS2 engine dress. Coil packs are still up top. Um, corner to corner, you look over here, lean on the engine a little bit. 
Um, those are the AC and heater lines where they feed into and there's a, two hidden panels that you can remove panels and access this stuff. Uh, there's the AC components right there. AC charge point. There's a low car uh, transmission fill or dipstick tube there. Sweet, 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 sweet. Again the uh, Newman chassis polished suspension C4 com Corvette suspension components. There's the power rack and pinion steering right there. Again, all braided lines and the factory VIN where it belongs. 10867S1106289. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Hang on just a minute and we'll fire it up for you and give you a good run of it. Thanks for listening to me. Hang on to the end of the video. Okay, we'll reach in and fire it up here. Starts right up. Electronic fuel injection. All right, hang on to the end of the video. All right, we've got the convertible top compartment loosened up here for you. You take off the two snaps on either side, and then there's a button here you push in the center, and it pops up. You'll see that it's finished inside and out, just like the rest of the car, the engine compartment, that kind of thing. It's finished very nicely, very nicely done. The trim and upholstery and high-end carpet goes through to the back here. This top is a uh, completely restored, all the components, you'll see all new hardware on the rack. It appears though it's been powder coated, uh, fully functional. It's a little bit hard to, uh, it has an Al knocked vinyl, convertible top on it, tan and finish. We'll have still photos at Spud's Garage, kind of give you a feel. They rarely put the top up. This is a top down drive car. But you can put the top up, obviously. Anyway, there you go. All right, let's take a look at the trunk. Just like the inside of the car, it's just uh, very nicely done. Finished in a high level. It's got a uh, the same carpet as the interior of the car. Bottom of the deck lid is finished off here. It's got a neat little thing. Here's where the factory spare is on the, uh, typically would go. And uh, they build a nice little compartment here. You could put a downsize spare in there if you like, but it's also a nice little hidden compartment for smaller items, and you can still fit luggage in the trunk here. Put it back up in here. Just kind of pops in there. All right, there you go. Hang on to the end of the video. Thanks for listening to me. All right, as promised, we'll get you in the undercarriage of this vet. This car's just sweet. Very nice to drive, and it should be uh, based on what they've done on the underside here. We've kind of already covered that with you, but we like to get underneath and kind of give you a feel. We actually do this video before we do the walk around, so sometimes you'll hear me repeating myself. Anyway, finished top to bottom, very nicely done restoration. The factory rails on this were sent out, or frame rails, as I should say. We're sent out to Newman, Paul Newman chassis, and uh, he's not doing chassis anymore, but I can tell you a lot of people wish he was, but uh, it's got an upgraded, they take the factory chassis off the car and they upgrade it to modern C4 suspension, Corvette C4 suspension. Changes the whole ride and feel of the car, makes a very nice resto mod. These cars just ride nice and drive nice, so if you're looking for a Corvette to drive, this one's been driven. Um, Basically the C4 Corvette suspension has all been polished. It has all polished components on it. Obviously these cars have four wheel disc brakes on them. Corvettes did um, in the later years or the C4. And we'll cover around the outside here, but the chassis was all powder coated, all restructured to order, in order to accept the C4 uh, suspension. It has all chrome plated brake lines, stainless brake lines. It has uh, braided lines. Shocks in the rear here, polished half shafts, polished center housing, again all out of a C4 Corvette. Stabilizer link in the rear here. Disc brakes, you'll see the calipers. We'll go ahead and cover it on the outside there, but this car has received a body off restoration that's very nicely done, very nicely modernized.
has a custom exhaust system in it with an aircraft style connectors that runs out the back valance there. You'll see the uh, cross bracing here is also polished. Custom exhaust system has Flowmaster mufflers on it. That's where you get that bitchin' sound. You've already heard it run by now. So it drives like a modern, modern Corvette or more modern Corvette. Transmission cooler here on the frame rail. Polished drive line. Again, powder coated chassis crossover with anti vibration section here. Powder coated uh, trans pan. That's a 4L60E electronically controlled uh, automatic transmission. Again, we'll go around and cover the frame rails from you. So, bottom side is just a uh, uh, kind of a hard, thick surface against the factory fiberglass or a body color red. It's not a uh, you know, the same uh, finish as the outside of the car, but it's uh, definitely very nice. Give you a feel here, we get a little quiet there. Bottom of the LS2, 400 horsepower LS2 V8. Front suspension, again, C4 Corvette's front suspension, so front and rear suspension. Again, all polished components. This is not a cheap date, and uh, Newman did a very nice job on all his chassis, and they're designed for this car. Anybody looking for a Corvette like this knows uh, what a Newman chassis is, but we're covering it for those that don't. And to give everybody a really good feel, get up front here, front balance on it. I'm going to slide this jack so we can kind of give you a feel of the front suspension here. Go forward to backward. Little baby bump right here on the uh, splash pan, but that's what it's there for. These cars sit fairly low. It's a Corvette. You got to be careful with it. Again, just taking you back for a different view as we go along here. I'll move the jack one more time. I know you're getting the idea and you'll definitely want to go to Spud's Garage where I'll have plenty of still photos. Walk around the outside here and kind of give you a feel. Very nice. Again, the kind of car you can drive. Uh, these are uh, Billet Specialties SLC Series wheels, polished aluminum. Tire size I was looking for here. My eyes are probably up high where I can't see it. We'll get around to the other side and cover that with you. You'll see how all the lines are chrome plated, custom bent, pro built. Burton's did a nice job of building this car. He does nice work into a lot of cars for this gentleman. Splash pans here that are custom made. Tires aren't going to cooperate with me over on this side when it comes to size. Excuse me, 225-35ZR17s in the front. We'll get around to the rear for you on the next side. Again, the front balance on it. Beautiful car. As uh, these may be VBP uh, vet brake parts, uh, C5 grade upgraded calipers on the front. I did see a brochure in the uh, file on this car. There's three large files. Tire size here, I'll get this one. Man, I'm having all kinds of problems with this today. Is a 235-55ZR17 on the rear. Well, by now, I think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com, 
I'll have more facts and specs. I may make mistakes sometimes when I do my talking around these cars. There you go. Have a great day.